battle started fast, but it stopped even faster for referee Heinz Burkle. He didn't even take the mandatory eight count. Instead, delighted fans with an attempt to regain his composure and his footing, but he didn't manage too well. Kenyan David Atam delivered the unconventional KO, and no doubt his opponent, West German Harold Rodeweiss, was happy to see the blow land where it did. Here it is again, mostly for the benefit of Burkle, so he'll know what happened. In the end, Atam's opponent, Rodeweiss, suffered the same fate, going down in the next round. But that knockout was anticlimactic, and by then Burkle had been replaced as referee, and says now he'll have to do some replacing himself. New dentures. Unable to find his opponent, Cardenas delivers a staggering blow to the second referee. レフェリーを今レフェリーの Croatian boxer Vido Lonka launched a shocking attack on the referee after losing his fight at the European Youth Boxing Championships in Croatia. Lonka, seen here in red, was counted out by the Polish referee after trading blows with his Lithuanian opponent Algirdas Banielus. After returning to his corner to take off his helmet, Lonkar returns to the middle so the referee can announce the result. As he prepares to do so, Lonkar hits him with a soccer punch to the midriff and continues to attack the referee even after he falls to the ground. Lonkar's opponent flees the ring as the attack continues, with officials and trainers scrambling into the ring to try and stop him. The attack ends only when he is grabbed by the foot and dragged out of the ring. Lonkar has since been suspended from boxing for life. I'm gonna hit the G spot when I get the jeans off. Press on the gas and then I ease off. Kiss on your neck, there you go, ease off. Back so big, look like your jeans shrunk in the wash. And we don't really need Netflix, I'ma give you something to watch. After we done, Villa Spliff and Koch. Pour me a glass of the Henny on the rocks.